Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I had some spare time today and I needed something to do. So I decided to do something that I never did back in elementary school. Succumb to peer pressure. That's right. I'm going to start taking dares. Ah, looks like we have our first caller from Tucson, Alabama. Hello? Hey Mikey. I dare you to bring something in your room that you don't use anymore. <laughs> no way. Even if I had something I don't use anymore, I still spent money on it. I said, I dare you. Yeah, no. I spent the money I was supposed to spend on my student loans on everything that's in my room, and now I'm broke because of it. No thanks. Chicken? What was that? Chicken! 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 Oh, chicken! Can't do anything, chicken! Not falling for it. All right, all right, I'll do it. Oh, I cannot believe I just did that. Why is the word chicken used as a word for when somebody doesn't want to do a dare? The Amanda Show has many iconic skits that define the show and always come to people's minds when they think about it. Judge Trudy, The Girl's Room, Hillbilly Moment, Penelope Tate, Mr. Oldman, the list goes on. All great, no doubt about it. But there are some skits that I also think are great that I barely hear people talk about. The Dare Show is a skit that only appeared in three episodes of the series. As the title implies, this skit is about characters taking dares from viewers and doing them, but only after being taunted. There are three characters that appear in every installment of The Dare Show. Two siblings named Sharon and Toby and their mother. Sharon and Toby are played by Amanda Bynes and Drake Bell respectively, and their mother is played by Nancy Sullivan. The three episodes that featured The Dare Show are episodes 25 and 30 from season 2, and episode 35 from season 3. Maybe that's why the show ended after 40 episodes, because episode 40 didn't include this skit. Nah, but really, I've always gotten some good laughs from this skit. Not as many as a skit like Judge Trudy, but way more than something like The Extremes. My first exposure to this skit was a fan edit on YouTube combining the skits from episode 35 and 30. After Toby put on a bra and stuffed it with mac and cheese, it cut to the skit from episode 30 where Toby was dared to beat himself up. And after that, the video ended. I later watched the entirety of the skit from episode 30, and then the whole skit from episode 35, both on YouTube. Then I downloaded episode 25 on my iPod at the time and watched the Dare Show skit there because it wasn't on YouTube and somehow ended up watching that Dare Show skit the most. I wonder why. Every recurring Amanda Show skit follows a formula and the Dare Show is no exception. The formula for the Dare Show involves characters taking a total of four dares. Every dare is taken from a caller who lives in a city that is from a different state than where it geographically is. For example, Illinois, Honolulu, Texas, New York City, Ohio. The first dare always involves Sharon doing something disgusting related to Toby. The second dare has Toby do something that makes him look totally stupid or like some kind of freak. The third dare involves Sharon, and sometimes Toby, doing something that would make them look totally humiliated or also stupid. After the third dare, Sharon and Toby's mom would come in and scold them for doing the dare show no matter how many times she's told them not to do it, only for the fourth caller to give their mom that final dare. And every single time they would get a dare, they would refuse to do it despite saying they would do any dare. The caller would taunt them until they finally give in and do the dare, followed by Sharon, Toby, or their mom saying, Aw oh, man, I cannot believe I just did that. 
and the skit would end with their mom doing the fourth and last dare. Since there's only three episodes that feature this skit, we might as well go over all of them. Episode 25 is the first episode to feature the dare show. It appears after the block blister skit. Sharon and Toby open the show and introduce themselves. The first call was from Memphis, Wisconsin, who dared Sharon to make hot tea with one of Toby's dirty socks and then drink it. Sharon refused, and after Memphis, Wisconsin called her a chicken, she gave in and grossed out the audience. Oh, nasty! The second dare was from New York City, Ohio, who dared Toby to draw a mustache and glasses on his face with a permanent marker. Toby said no until NYC Ohio called him a freaky cat, so he gave in and looked stupid when he was done. The third viewer was from Toledo, New Hampshire, and dared Sharon to dump ice cream down her shirt and cover himself with hot fudge and whipped cream. Oh yeah, and nuts, on top. Sharon didn't want to, but after she was called a wimp, she gave in and did indeed cover herself with ice cream and the toppings. They didn't put nuts on her head, as they started their fourth call from Los Angeles, North Dakota, their mom came in, saw they were doing the D.A.R.E. show, and started to scold them. How can they do the show behind their mom's back that many times? L.A. North Dakota told their mom to shave her head, but the kids defended their mom until she was called a baby by the caller, and then gave in. Sharon and Toby then closed the show while she was shaving her head, and that's the end of that skit. Moving on to the D.A.R.E. show from episode 30, the skit comes up after Block Blister again. Sharon and Toby introduce themselves and take the first dare, this time from Barcelona, Alabama. He dared Sharon to brush her teeth with Toby's big toe. Sharon refused, but when Barcelona called her a wimp and taunted her, she gave in and brushed four of her teeth. The second caller was from Salt Lake City, New Hampshire, who dared Toby to beat himself up. When Toby said no, SLC teased them by saying they were super scared, so Toby gave in and beat himself up worse than most bullies in the 50s, so bad that he got a black guy. The third caller was from Honolulu, Texas, who dared both Sharon and Toby to cover themselves with glue and roll around in feathers. They both said no, but then Honolulu called them yellow bellies. Well, he was wearing a shirt with a yellow torso. Does that count? They gave in and looked like giant stupid chickens when they were done. As they started doing the fourth dare from Anchorage, Wisconsin, the kid's mom came in and reprimanded them for doing the show. How can they do the show behind their mom's back? And then Anchorage, Wisconsin dared their mom to eat five gallons of mayonnaise with her hands behind her back. The mom refused, but after being called a coward, she gave in and made me sick to my stomach. Well, you can't eat instruments, so... Sharon and Toby closed out the show, and that was the end of the skit. Moving on to the D.A.R.E. show from episode 35, this time it was the first skit to appear after the commercial sketch. Sharon and Toby opened the show and take their first D.A.R.E. from Boston, Illinois. She dared Sharon to eat some of Toby's hair. Sharon refused, but then when Boston called Sharon a chicken, she gave in and swallowed something indigestible. The second dare was from San Francisco, Tennessee, who dared Toby to put on a bra and stuff it with mac and cheese. Toby refused, and San Francisco called Toby a liar because he refused to do a dare that he said he would do at the start of the show. Yeah! Toby gave in, and after doing it, he looked like a noodle boob freak. The third dare was from Coco from Zoey 101, uh, I mean, Nashville, Ireland, who dared Sharon to put peanut butter on her head and press it into little mini marshmallows. After Sharon said no, Nashville called her a loser, and Sharon got more pissed until she finally gave in and looked humiliated. As they started the fourth there from Minneapolis, Massachusetts, their mom came in and reproached them for doing the show. How can they do the show? Minneapolis, Massachusetts dared their mom to break the fourth wall by licking the camera lens. The kids defended her, but when Minneapolis called her a freighty lady, she gave in. Sharon and Toby closed out the show, which ended with their mom licking the camera lens. And that was all three D.A.R.E. show skits from The Amanda Show. Now let's dive into the minor differences between the skits. In episode 25, Sharon and Toby sat directly next to each other with the TV off to the side. And when there was a caller, they were shown holding a phone when we see them on the TV. In episodes 30 and 35, the TV was in the middle of the room with Sharon and Toby sitting on either side of it. The callers weren't holding a phone this time, but whoever was filming them didn't understand what a camera was. 
Also, when the characters do the dares, there's music playing in the background in these episodes, while there is no music playing during those scenes in episode 25. Those are the most notable differences in any version whenever the skits appear. I'm indifferent as to where the TV is placed. I'm fine if the callers aren't holding phones when they're calling in to share a dare, but I prefer the static camera in episode 25 compared to how jittery it is in episodes 30 and 35. Now if I had a reason why I love the dare show so much, I think it's because of the banter that ensues whenever the characters are given a dare. A lot of the taunting makes me laugh a lot. Yellow belly! Say what? I find it humorous how they paired a random city with a random state or even country, like Memphis, Wisconsin. I personally believe it's like that because the people probably live in whatever state they do, but their parents named them that city. Now sure, this guy's parents are assholes for naming their kid Salt Lake City, but I've seen worse names. And I'm sure I ruined everybody's childhood by saying Nashville is in Tennessee and not Ireland. What do you mean Nebraska isn't the capital of Jupiter? I also like the music that plays in episodes 30 and 35 when somebody does a dare. It does give a bit more life to when the characters are performing the dares compared to episode 25. My personal favorite dare across all three skits is from episode 30 where Sharon and Toby put glue on themselves and roll around in feathers. And I feel a close second for me is the dare where Toby beats himself up from the same episode. If I had to rank them... I would say that the dare show from episode 35 is my least favorite of the three times it appeared. It's not bad whatsoever, but I think the reason I feel that way is because I think the banter in that skit is less funny compared to the other two. I want to die! I want it for you! Yeah, I just didn't find that one as funny for some reason. In terms of the episodes they appear in, the dare show is my favorite sketch from all three of the episodes it's in. Outside of maybe the block blister skit from episode 30. I'm not sure if I like the dare show from episode 25 or 30 better, specifically talking about those skits. I do like most of the dares from episode 30 a bit more than episode 25, and there's music in episode 30, but not 25, but I also watched episode 25 more often than 30, and 25 has this gross dare. But to be fair, episode 30 has this nasty dare too. And if I'm being perfectly honest, I may prefer the dirty sock tea dare over the mayo one. I know that sounds morbid, but maybe that's because mayo is not an instrument. Horseradish is not an instrument either. And the banter in episode 25, I love too. Okay, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> You're mental. So I guess I would say I like most of the dares in episode 30 a bit more than 25, but I found myself more consistently enjoying the dare show from episode 25 more than 30. I would say episode 30 would be my favorite time this skit appeared if the mayonnaise dare was replaced by something else. I guess I would say episode 25 is my favorite time this sketch was used. Episode 30 is only lower by a very slight margin and episode 35 is third on my ranking. Even though there is gross out humor in every skit from this, I think it was done much better than how it was done in Cynthia Worthington. How rude! But overall, it is still a good skit, and even if it didn't appear a lot, I always like to watch it whenever one of the three episodes it appeared in was around. Even if it didn't appear in episode 40. The Dare Show is an underrated Amanda Show skit. I wish it was shown more often in the series. The banter was what really made it for me, as well as a select few dares. This isn't my favorite skit from the show, but I'd rather watch that compared to something like Crime Fighting Cheerleaders. But, I'm done taking any dares. Breaking that amiibo hurt me more than I thought it would, and it made me remember why I don't succumb to peer pressure. Oh, another caller. This time from Birmingham, Arizona. Hello? Hey Mikey, I dare you to go outside and spray yourself with a hose. Yeah, not doing that. I'm not doing dares anymore. And besides, my shirt will get wet and it's cold outside. Wimp. What'd you call me? Wimp. Wimp, 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 wimp. Stop saying that. Ooh, look, there's a little wimp over there. He's so wimpy, he can't do anything to prove that he's not a wimp. Wimp, wimp, wimp. All right, okay, fine.
Oh man, I cannot believe I just did that.